Uh, hi everyone, welcome, welcome. Today, we're gonna boogie on down to Polish Pickup Rewind After Party. I have some beautiful polishes to share with you. The Polish Pickup Rewind After Party is a bunch of brands having a second polish available on their site for PPU Rewind Month. PPU is Polish Pickup. It is a online indie collaboration site where every month makers get together to make us some really awesome products, including nail polishes surrounding a theme every month. And July is special for Polish Pickup because every July it is Rewind Month, which allows the makers to bring back some polishes, which were previously exclusive to a previous month. So every month they do come out with stuff that is exclusive to that month and they don't bring it back. Rewind is the opportunity to get a polish that you have missed out on in the past, especially if you're new to polish pickup. So After Party this year had so many makers participating and I ended up buying from two shops, one brand that I know and love and one brand that I have been waiting to try. But without further ado, let's jump into the polishes. So the first thing is actually a cuticle caviar. This is like a little cuticle cream from Sassy Sauce. This is a little freebie with the order, and this is in the pink sugar scent. It kind of smells like a vanilla sugar wrapped fruit with a little bit of musky tone as well. Really nice one, definitely super yummy. And the PPU shade that they brought back was Wet Spot. This one was such a beautiful polish. My grandma had this one and I could not stop staring at it when she was wearing it. This one does have those beautiful golden reflectives, which this is not even with the flash on. And then there's that nice berry tone, which is a very shifty um, shimmer. And then this is in a teal toned base. Super beautiful. Let's try it on the nail wheel. First coat. You may even be able to see just by the application that it's kind of a jelly base, but that shimmer is a really strong one and it's super pretty. And here it is with the reflectives showing with that flash. Definitely a super interesting one. Let's go in with a second coat. Definitely looks really nice on the wheel in two. It is super sparkly and glowy. All the reflectives are super sparkly. And let's look at these shifts. Really nice, going into a golden tone. And then in the most extreme angles, you get that golden green glow. I did pick up something else from their shop that I've been looking at for a while. This one is Spillin' Tea. It is a purple base with an extremely rainbow shifty type of shimmer. There's also a lot of really pretty flakes in here. Let's try it on the wheel. First coat. Another slightly squidgy jelly type of base. Both of these are really buttery formulas though. You can definitely see a bit of shimmer going on and all those little flakies. Let's go in for a second coat. That builds up really nicely. Let's go look at the shifts. All of those flakies look like little candy flakes. They're so pretty. And here we are. Going into a blue shift and even a purpley and green shift. So pretty. Back down into a yellow and an orange. That is lovely. And here they are in the low light. Oh my goodness. That's where you really get to see the rainbow effect. Really pretty. 
The next one is from Fancy Gloss. Until now, I have yet to try this brand. They have so many beautiful thermal and tri-thermal and all these different polishes that just are so, so different from anything I've ever seen before. I do kind of limit myself from buying thermals, but I could not pass this one. This is my first try thermal and the colors are beautiful. It goes from a green to a blue to a pink when it is at its warmest state. So it's definitely really beautiful. And it also has all these beautiful flakes. This one is called Dried Roses. Let's try it on the nail wheel. Let's go right on in with our first coat. I did try this one on my nail when I got it because it did come on a warm day and it looked brown in the bottle so I was really highly concerned. Um, it did obviously go back to its green state in the bottle and everything is fine but I was really concerned because I have heard that thermals can kind of get finicky in cold or heat so yeah but it did return to green and all of the elements do work but it did also cover in one coat and here on the nail wheel it does as well so a one coater and tri-thermal it's pretty freaking amazing and yeah I will let it dry and at the end we can come back and look at that beautiful thermal effect but I also did get another thing from them as well I bought this topper it is a beautiful really like jemmy crystallic looking flaky topper um if you've been watching me for a while you may know i am planning to do a flaky topper video kind of comparing all the ones that i have but i'm glad that i haven't done it yet because now i can compare this one as well but this one is really really bright colors in it so it's really fun and opalescent. This one is called Stained Glass. It does kind of remind me of the flakes that are in the Cuticula, Dragon Glass, Pixie Glass, those glass polishes. Um, so it might be, but either way, they're really pretty and I'm super excited to have them in my collection. But let's try this over a few different colors on the nail wheel. First, let's just see it over white. Definitely really pretty, kind of unicorn sprinkle looking. They look like they are a pink to blue iridescent, but they're definitely more saturated tones. Really interesting, definitely different from what I do have currently. Really cute. And let's try it over black. Those really give a wild pop of color. And there is so many flakies in here, y'all. Gorgeous. I also pulled out a yellow polish. I also like to try my flakies over colors. I just think it's fun. Let's try that. Definitely a cute spring look. Oh, that's so fun. Pretty. So I ended up getting the four polishes, but with those, I know I can definitely create a lot of cool looks. That topper will definitely get use in my collection, and I know that it will look really cool over so many different creams. I'm really loving how it looks over white, too. It's really delicate, but all of the flakes are really vibrant, so that's really fun, and the really wild, intense look over black is definitely really cool, too. Really love that. It's probably going to set fingerprints, but let's try the thermal effect. Kind of stuck to me a little it's still a little wet but you see that 
really warm, it turns pink. And then when you get the right temperature in between, then there is also a blue color that appears. And now that is starting to come up on the tip as it gets a little bit colder. We're literally able to see it change before our eyes. Isn't that fun? So it turns into blue and then it goes back into green. But yeah, a trithermal, I don't have any of those. I feel like that's really fun and interesting. And the three differing colors were just so grabbing my attention, especially loaded with flakes. So fun. I always love a sassy sauce and I've wanted Wet Spot since it first came out. I don't know why I passed on it. And Spillin' Tea, I've also been waiting so long to grab. I'm so glad to finally have it in my collection. I feel like Sassy Sauce does a really good purple and I have so many of them. I really love a purple polish. So yeah, another really great one from her. I love that tone of color too. It's kind of got that berry tone to it. Really fun. Definitely love all of these and super excited to get them on my nails. Really fun after party. Did you guys end up getting anything from Polish Pickup Rewind after party? If so, let me know in the comments. Who did you shop with? What did you get? Did you just stick to your PPU wish list, or did you also get a few extra goodies? Let me know. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, let me know. Give it a like. And if you would like more content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to have you back. I've so enjoyed having you here today, and hope to see you in the next one. But until next time, friends, thanks for hanging with me.